Yate. My name is Tyrone Thompson, and uh, I'm a farmer on the Little Colorado River on the Navajo Nation. So we're located on the far southwest portion of the Navajo Nation. And the Navajo Nation right now is considered a, a food desert. We're about 27,000 square miles um, with about 10 grocery stores um, throughout the reservation. So, so some folks have to drive um, long distances up to you know, an hour or a hundred miles round trip to get uh, fresh food, so it's not readily available. Um, my name is Felicia Yazi. I am originally from Wolfowell Spring, close to Pinyon, and I am currently living here in Loop with uh, my significant other Tyrone Thompson, and we have five kids together. They really enjoy gardening and working with us in this soil so they're exposed to all that and they enjoy working together as a family. We still don't have running water and electricity here uh, where we live so we, we have to haul water on a daily basis for our animals, for our gardens, um, and for our families. There's a big push for building more infrastructures for, for waters and wells and hopefully you know some of those those, those things will will be underway as, as well. So so in the back of me we have uh, a growing dome and we're we're very fortunate and exciting to um, model and show what potentials um, we can we can have here on, on, on the Navajo Nation. Not only economics um, but healing properties that these domes can provide for, for the people and, and helping to self-sustain and you know have accessibility to fresh local um, nutrient dense food is, is, is really what we're um, out to accomplish and again this is going to allow us to help model and um, show by example what what the potential are are out here and our dream is to develop you know the little colorado river um, to be potentially the bread basket of arizona if not the navajo nation and, and, and sister tribes um, so our, our, our starts go out to a variety of people um, from nonprofits to um, backyard gardens. We, we, we provide gar um, starts for our senior center. Um, right now we have about 4,000 starts that are, are getting ready to be put out for Christmas. Um, and that's, that's, a, um, that's gonna go out for you know, just hundreds of families throughout our region. Um, but again, there's, there's, we're, we're, we're part of co uh, a cooperative of, we call ourselves Air, the Heirloom Clan. We're just trying to, to share as much knowledge as we can um, in these trying times. So a lot of what we'll be doing here is probably recording and putting on, on Facebook and, and sharing because that's kind of the, the, the way to share these days. Uh, it's, and when things get back to normal, we're, we're hoping to bring in our, our schools because we also do farms to school. So the starts also go to the schools. We have a few schools. We have Little Singer Community School that we work with. We have Star School, um, the Luke Public School. So it's it, it, the the growing space is really going to help um, our efforts and what we do to, to get a, a lot of these babies out. And and you see, it's our our, our little greenhouse is full already. So it's. It creates just a whole other another space to uh, to house them like right away. Like I'm, <laughs> that's how uh, that's how important it is. I'm excited about everything. I'm excited about the the water tank. I'm excited about, about the possibilities of having waterfalls, uh, moving water, um, just the environment. The kids have already you know have been very vocal in there. It sounds like an amphitheater. You know, it's just a beautiful environment. I, 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 I watch people come up to it and, and kind of, you know, their eyes open up and glow. And so I think, again, it's going to be another space for healing, another space for growing. Um, and we, we love it already, so we're, we're just very appreciative.